boy band is like a style of music now. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> I did not say you said that. It. I did not you said say that. Are cool. you okay? <sighs> Hi, this is Jello Salad. And today we're dishing on the one and only Justin Timberlake. From romantic entanglements to wardrobe malfunctions, we're dissecting all the times Justin may have been a touch out of sync. Talent and charisma aside, he may not be the picture of pop star perfection we've come to know over the years, but we'll let you be the judge. Justin and Jessica. Justin is no stranger to publicly posting about his adoration for his wife, and we all get it. Jessica Biel is stunning. She's a talented actress and a total catch. Agreed. But, but there have been multiple cheating allegations, and he and Jessica have had quite a few dramatic breakups. I dated a cancer once, yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah. In 2010, US Weekly reported that Justin, quote, engaged in a three-day fling with actress Olivia Munn after meeting her at an event for MySpace. While he and Jessica were together, he denied the report. MySpace, oh my God, that feels like eons ago. It didn't end there. Apparently, the catalyst for his and Jessica's 2011 breakup was reported to be Justin's Friends with Benefits co-star Mila Kunis. And later that same year, US Weekly reported that Justin had stayed at Scarlett Johansson's apartment after a night of heavy flirting. Okay, I have questions. One, was he with Jessica when he was cozying up to Scarlett? And two, didn't he also have a love triangle with Cameron Diaz and Scarlett? One, apparently Justin and Jessica were on a break during his ScarJo hookup. We were on a break! And two, yes, we must throw the Charlie's Angels star into the mix because she dated Justin from 2003 to 2007. Shortly after that breakup, Justin released the What Goes Around Comes Around music video and cast Johansson as his love interest. Some speculate that ScarJo may be the reason for Diaz and Justin's split because a close source said that, quote, Cameron was very jealous of Scarlett and felt threatened by her. That's a lot of relationship drama. Yep, and in addition to Olivia, Mila, and ScarJo, it's rumored that Justin has also cheated on Jessica with Kate Hudson and Rihanna. I feel terrible for those, <laughs> for those, for those females. And Jessica still married him. Yes, but Jessica is no dummy. Apparently, she put an infidelity clause in their prenup, which pays her five hundred thousand if Justin strays while they're married. On top of that, she also added a clause stating that she would only provide Justin with a child if he was faithful for a certain amount of time. So, did he actually stay faithful all these years? Well, there was a hand-holding scandal back in two thousand nineteen where photos surfaced of Justin and his Palmer co-star Alicia Wainwright getting very close and cozy at a cast party while Jessica was at home pregnant with her second child. Ouch, that does not look good. We can file that under, you know, slightly regrettable. <laughs> <laughs> now, I should say that these are rumors. Even though Justin has publicly apologized to his wife and kids numerous times, he and Jessica are still married. The wedding video. But let's move on from all the infidelity rumors and talk about the infamous wedding video. Wedding video? Okay, brace yourself for this one. Justin and Jessica continue to make awkward headlines when they said I do. In October 2012, their friends created a video that was screened at their extravagant Italian wedding. According to many sources, the video featured homeless people in Los Angeles the couple did not know congratulating them on their nuptials. Wow, that's really disturbing. Yeah, it's so disturbing. And afterward, Justin posted a public apology on his website, but according to Vulture, quote, Justin claims that the video was not actually shown at the wedding. He also defended his friends saying, quote, my friends are good people, but I don't believe it was made to be insensitive. Sounds like his friends made a bad choice and Justin was left to clear things up. Stick to the registry, folks. It's easier. Justin's many slips of the tongue. From failed publicity stunts to flat out avoiding responsibility, Justin is no stranger to sticking his foot in his mouth. Here are some of the cringiest incidents Justin has had to or should apologize for. One, that time Justin inducted Madonna into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and said, The world has long been full of Madonna wannabes, and I might have even dated a couple. Poor Britney, again. Two, that time Justin shared the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show with the legendary Janet Jackson, and he accidentally exposed her breast on live television in the infamous wardrobe malfunction that shocked the world. Oh yeah, he really did have her naked by the end of that song. Yeah, and it became a massive scandal where Janet sadly was left to take the brunt of the blame. All the emphasis was put on me, mm -hmm. not on Justin. According to Rolling Stone, 
own Viacom blacklisted her by, quote, keeping her music videos off their properties like MTV, VH1, and radio stations under their umbrella. And CBS banned her from the Grammy Awards in February 2004. Yeah, and Justin wrote the whole thing off as simply a, quote, wardrobe malfunction. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated at the whole situation. I'm frustrated that my character is being questioned. And meanwhile, his career flourished. Not only did Justin attend the Grammys, and win that year. He even boasted about the incident saying, quote, hey man, we love giving you all something to talk about. Cringy indeed, and poor Janet. Please tell me there isn't any more. Well, there were all the times Justin dissed Prince publicly, but specifically when he mocked the Purple Rain singer's size by squatting down in front of the microphone while accepting an award on Prince's behalf at the 2007 Golden Globes. I mean, who picks on Prince? In all fairness, the two had been poking fun at each other for some time. At a 2006 post-Emmy party, Prince took a jab at Justin's single, Sexy Back, saying, quote, for whoever is claiming that they are bringing sexy back, sexy never left. Yes, but then there was that time when Justin wanted to use a hologram of Prince during the 2018 Super Bowl halftime show in Minneapolis after he passed away. Friends and fans of Prince found the idea extremely inappropriate, so Justin abandoned the plan. Seems like Justin has had to do a lot of public apologizing slash explaining. <sighs> Indeed. We could go on and on, overanalyzing all the shady ways of Justin Timberlake, but there is always another side to the story. You be the judge. What do you think about Justin Timberlake? Good guy or shady dude? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the tastiest pop culture bites from Jello Salad. Until, Until next time! time.